I'm Jennifer Angel. This is my business report for this coming week. Now, right on the 9th, early in the week, there's a full moon. This month's full moon is in the sign of Pisces. So this is a very intuitive uh, sign. And of course, the moon energy itself is sensitive and intuitive. So the full moon is about uh, bringing things to a closure. And this month, with it being in Pisces, you can really get confirmation of your thoughts and your feelings. So something that's perhaps been bothering you can come to conclusion now and you can go, aha, you get one of those Oprah aha moments of realization where you go, okay, now I know how I'm going to move forward from this point. Now, can full moon energy be a little disruptive? Yeah, sure. Let's not forget that the full moon comes from, it's the lunar moon and lunar comes from the word lunatic. So that's why people are crazy around the full moon or should I say crazier than normal. So you want to have, uh, make a few allowances for people as well, but things can start to fall into place. Now right in the very next day we've got Mercury communication planet in a favorable aspect with Jupiter. Jupiter is a planet of abundance and expansion. So it's like the realizations that you come to with the full moon, you can then have uh, discussions about how you're going to eliminate some things from your business life and introduce other things. So let's not forget that as soon as you decide that you're going to delete something out of your life, that creates a void. And whenever there's a void, the universe fills it. And so that's what's going to happen directly after with Mercury and Jupiter when they get together. Now, following that, we've got Mars is going to make a move to the sign of Sagittarius. Now, Mars is like very go-getter energy. It's assertive. Of course, it's always the other side of the coin. I mean, it can be assertive or it can be aggressive. So so you want to keep that in mind too, but it's a great energy to put your visions into practice. So for this week, my advice to you is to think big, think broad, uh, eliminate anything that's not working, let it go, create that, that void so the universe can bring something else in. When the Mars energy clicks in on the 14th into Sagittarius, then you can really go full steam ahead to make your goals into reality. All right. Have a great week, everybody. I'm Jennifer Angel, broadcasting from New York City for Eagle Eye Media in Sydney, Australia, my hometown. Love and luck to you. Thanks so much for listening. See you next week.